this story describes a miracle. Miss Monroe? Marilyn is not ready. Excuse my horrible face. A few days in my life when a dream came true. I have something in my eye. I can't see anything. When I got sent the script, I read it and I was, um, I was kind of astounded that I didn't know this story. I felt like it was too good a story not to have, have sort of heard of. But then it involved someone playing Marilyn Monroe, and I was like, well, that's crazy. <laughs> Who would be um, stupid enough to undertake that? And then when I found out it was Michelle, then suddenly all that changed. I was like, how well, I've always admired her hugely as an actress. Yeah. Michelle talks about how Marilyn Monroe and actors of that period would often have, it was much more sort of the norm to have a group of professionals around you. So you would have an acting coach, you would have a movement coach. So she wanted to recreate that on, on this film. But when she arrived on set to play opposite her, it, there was no demonstrating of homework. It was all gone, it felt like completely free and playful and changeable. And, and so it was a bit of a masterclass, but also watching both Kenneth Branagh and her in the morning, I, I just got on the makeup trailer and would sort of you know, comb my hair and watching them arrive as Michelle and Kenneth and watching piece by piece these elements of these two characters put together and then whether it was the makeup or the wigs or the costume or and then gradually a sort of hour and a half later you at Pinewood Studios I'd sort of catch a glimpse down a corridor and here would come Michelle sort of tottering dressed up and it was, it was an amazing thing to watch the process but also to watch how free it, free mm. it was. Well, there, there were so many sort of uh, life imitating art aspects in the sense that we shot this, um, we shot The Prince and the Showgirl, uh, sorry, we shot My Week with Marilyn at Pinewood Studios. The actual studio that we shot in at Pinewood was the same one where they shot The Prince and the Showgirl. Michelle was in Marilyn Monroe's dressing room. But as a vibe on our set, it was, it was wonderful. It's rare that you, well, for me, to work with such extraordinary British actors of all generations, um, from Dame Judi Dench and Sir Derek Jacobi to my mates who I'd never worked with before, Emma Watson and Dominic Cooper. It was, it was really um, special. It, interestingly, the, I think one of the great films of the past decade, um, which I watched whilst working with Michelle and then came to set next day, kind of not really sure where to look, was Blue Valentine, which I, um, deeply melancholic but kind of amazing film um, and one that still retains my grasp but I go back to okay, is My Summer of Love with Emily Blunt and Natalie Press and that, that film for some reason and the soundtrack of that film sort of continues to sort of haunt my life a bit but it's mm. great. You can quit this. Forget Marilyn Monroe. Forget Hollywood. But let it all go. 